Mmm, coffee. Let's see, is there anything in here I have not seen before? Oops. No, no flashback CDs. Oh, we're back here again. Hey, hi there. Morning, good day, good evening. Time for Underworld Broadcasting Blundy Radio with your ghost host, DJ Met. Today's guest is, ta-da, Miss Yosef Fire. Whoa! Yeah! Hmm? Who? Just a passing DJ. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Okay, Miss Passing DJ. Now, how was the Grey Garden? Yosefire, your thoughts. Uh, what thoughts? Can't really think of much. Uh, nothing at all? Nope. Nothing? We're broadcasting live, you know. Say something, please. Uh... Well, Froze, I love you. That's not news. <laughs> Ugh, God. Mm hmm. Well then, we'll be taking your questions now. Our first question is from Morf Roach from Shijimi Village. Yosef Fire, please tell us what type of man you like. Whew. Huh? type of man. Yeah, but I don't have any interest besides froze. Clearly. But there is a type I hate. Flamey demons wearing shades. Die. I'll kick you in the nuts. Whoa, dangerous. Somewhere out there, the mouth is crying himself to sleep. <laughs> You're lovey-dovey with froze, eh? Of course, we're friends sworn in love, so... Boy, I'm jealous, though I have someone myself. They're always punching me and stomping on me and pulling out my organs. And cracking my skull and drowning me in the sea and using me as a sandbag. And they never acknowledge my feelings. I've got a ways to go. Uh, uh, hold on. What kind of person have you fallen for there? All right, next question from Whale Killer. Joseph Fire, what's your favorite food? That's it, Joseph Fire. What you like? Smell. Hold on, you never once said that during the game. No, I didn't. You should have. No. Uh huh. Now, next question go from Barfi. Why is your name Yosef Fire? Yosef Fire? Yoga Va- No, not it. Then what is it? It came to me in a dream. Master Lotus Leaf. So it seems. Yeah, that's it. So, next question. From Hemroido. Yo. Tell us how your romance with Froze began. Ah, it was at the beach when I was young. Now, let's see the next question. Uh, uh what? This will be the last one from Scrotenbugs. What's everyone doing now? Well, what are they doing? Did they all die? Uh, no, they didn't. We're pretty much living normal days again. Ah, uh, I'd love to rain five billion cockroaches in that world. Uh, what's even with you? I'm pretty sure Robert would just eat them all. I am become one who adores beating people to death. B beat to death? Who do you want to kill? Anybody! Ah, uh, This person's crazy! Maybe I'll beat you to death. Yes, that's good. I'll do that. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, looks like we're out of time. And I'm bleeding from my skull. Uh, why are you bleeding after you punched me? This is sweat. Ah, uh, this person's crazy. For Rose! Well, Yosefire, a final word to the players, if you please. I don't like violence. That's it for Bloody Radio. This has been me, DJ Met, and Yosef Fire. See you next week. Next week? Maybe not. Bye bye. Bye bye. Poor Yosef Fire. I just have a feeling she's a type of character I think everyone sees her and is just like, I want you to suffer because you're so innocent. I collect them all. Ah, uh, hot pots are always nice. Nah. I love hot pots, I do. They're the best. Uh. Hot pots are perfect for those cold winters. Uh. Well, but I still like you better than hot pots. <laughs> hey, but you've only been eating the dumplings. Eat some veggies. Hmm, it's fine. You'll die. How will I die? Bad for your health. So is being sealed underground for eons. But look who's talking. Oh boy, you're really gonna bring that up now? Over a hot pot? It was dark and cold. I said sorry. And same to you. How many of my underlings did you kill? Who knows? And how many of mine did you kill? Eh? Uh. I wasn't counting. But still, you have more lives on your hands, anyway. Too soon. Right, let's change the subject. Yes, that. Dangerous territory. If Voda's heard, he'd definitely be mad about that conversation. Why are you being so quiet? Eh? It's boring carrying a conversation all by myself. What are you? A child? I'm older than you. Ah, Mochi Kinchaku. One last bite. Wait. What? Leave that for me. Eh? First come, first serve. What? You have got some real nerve. Want me to seal you again? To the end of the world this time? How about it? Perfect. Oh, well then. What? <coughs> Ow! Hey. We're sorry. You okay? No big deal. Good thing you heal quick, seriously. That idiot did inflict a lot of pain, yes. If he comes again, I'll beat him to a pulp. I don't think that's the line you should be saying. Why not? Why not? Hmm. 
But it sure is sad, seeing you walking around with a cane. Why? Because you're really an old guy now. I I've still got some youth in me. Uh, Lord Kukab is an old guy already. Oh my. Perhaps from now on, he shouldn't be called Lord Kukalp or Sir Devil. But instead, his elderliness. His elderliness? I tell you, I I'm still young. Take heart. Atta will serve you for all her life, no matter how decrepit you should become. Me too. Be serious, you two. Hey, don't push yourself. Be quiet. What? Not that it's anything new, but you never look people in the eyes when you talk. Mm hmm? See? You're looking away. I'm free to look where I want. His elderliness. Make eye contact with people when you're talking to them, okay? Enough of the old stuff. She's right. Come on. Look me in the eye. Yeah. Uh, st stop. Ah! Ah. Oh, sorry. Oh. My back. That's no good, Lady Etio. You have to be grateful to your elders. Guess so. You'll pay for this someday. The sea so big and full of shijimi. Froze? Let's go swim. No. Why? General Hassel. Say what? Robbery, please don't destroy my sandcastle, okay? I wanna. Don't. Man, I was so ready though. Huh? <laughs> Leah! Ta-da! Swimsuit! Eh? Eh? Froze? Nothing to say? Uh, um... There's a seagull over there. I didn't mean that! Swimsuit! The swimsuit! Swimsuit! Yosef, you look so cute. Something like that? Eh? Ah, uh, sure. Jeez. Oh, fine. I'm swimming by myself. Froze, you mugwort dumpling. Mugwort dumpling. Yo, Sapphire, you can't swim! Hey, Froze? What? By the way, uh... I can't swim. What? Ah! Uh, help me! Help me! Get it around! <laughs> Idiot! Ah! Uh, uh, Robbery, I told you not to destroy it! Kaboom, Kersnash! Ah! Ah! Such is life. Hmm. Even now. So selfish. Oh, old man! What are you doing up so late? I could ask the same. 
Me? Well, I came to see the full moon. It's a really good view here. And do you often come here? Yeah. Funny. So do I. Huh? No way. I've never seen you here before. Well, of course. I usually come in the dead of night. Hey, good kids gotta get to bed early, old man. Well, anyway, let's talk. I never wanted to be alone. But don't be so standoffish. If there's any worries on your mind, just tell me. Worries? Nothing of the sort. Liar. You've always got that melancholy look. Well, strictly speaking... Oh? Antio's treatment of me. Ah, that kind of talk between lovers is fine. Uh, lovers? You're so lovers. Hey, do you like the moon, old man? Nah, it's just like, you've always got those sort of peeved eyes. But when they're looking at the moon, I feel like they're a little gentler. You could have left part of that out, fool. Well, I suppose. I don't hate the moon. The sun is too bright for me. The moon is different. Plus, it's filled with memories. Huh? Like what? From the distant past. Hmm? Did you know you can often see shooting stars here? I knew. I knew. Rose told me. But I've never seen one. I keep trying to, but I always end up falling asleep. I want to make a wish. A wish! For what? World domination. Right. Kidding. Um, it's actually a little more... No, n yeah, it's a secret. I see. And you? What? Your wish. Got one. My wish. I was just thinking about that, actually. Well, what is it? World peace. There are some people I'd like to meet again. But you can't? The first would be difficult to meet now. As with the second. The third... I've never met face to face. Why not? I'm simply... not worthy of meeting them. I see. But you still wanna, right? I hope you do someday. Yes. That's right. I don't know anything of fate. So perhaps, someday... Still hurts a bit. Ah, an angel. There you are. Hmm. You okay to be moving around so much already? Well, yes. I've mostly healed. Hmm. And you? Yeah, sure. Do you need something? Not really. Hey, and Angel. I've been meaning to say... What? Ditchy eye patch. Why? Why? Because you look too much like me. 
I don't quite understand what you're saying. You and me. Eye patch, clothes, hair color, way too similar. People are going to mistake us for brother and sister, like I already have. Ah. No, not ah. Off. Why don't you take yours off? Don't wanna. Then get your eye fixed. I shall not accept any left eye by my once own. Really now, just forget about her. No. Such a grunge. You get yours fixed. I've told you, I can't heal this wounded eye, so two of them can never forget. Hey now, I would think that's all good now. Besides... I enjoy it. Enjoy what? When my brother sees my wound, the apologetic face he makes, I enjoy. You smiling kind of freaks me out. So then, you're holding a grudge too? Well, it did hurt. No, it's not really a grudge. Really? Well, maybe a little. See? And nothing was solved. What are email for sub two? Uh. Hmm? Long distant crushes are half and rough. Wonder if she's doing okay. Uh, and she was so cute. Really wanted her as a girlfriend. I think this relationship is over, man. You tried to destroy her world. You tried to kill her and you did succeed in a few bad ends. Um, and to be honest, you were trying to molest her. Hopeless guy. What? Pull me, when did you? Just, just talking to myself. Leave me alone. A girl's heart has a weak point, see? Huh? If you don't attack that, she won't even turn around, but mess up and it breaks. Yeah, I broke it. Stupid. <laughs> but if you know how to focus on that point, you're good. Where'd you learn all that? A book. An awesome book. What trashy stuff are you reading now? Not trashy. You're trashy trash. Grr. By the way... Yeah? Rita, see? Yeah? Her weak point is... Or something. That's what she told me. Yeah. What she's telling this kid. Oh, and Lord Ivalos' weak point is scarves. Huh? Well, I suppose I should be going soon. Miss Revisor. Aha, uh -huh, so it was you. Ah, Lori, it's been some time. You should have told me you were here. Mm, things were busy, and you seem to be having fun yourself. But you really helped a lot, Miss Revisor. Thanks so much. Not a problem. You run business here, and I just couldn't tolerate that airhead. It really is a wonderful place, so I'm definitely glad the worst could be avoided. What's up? Oh, nothing much. But that expression looks quite off-putting on you. No one is around, so, as usual, if you please. Yeah, the kids here are all good children, so... My usual self would probably scare them too much.
A bird you may be, but you're no bird brain when it comes to feigning innocence. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing this world doesn't have many meteors. Chicken meat is foul. I could go for roast fowl. Huh. Give me a break. Ah, yes. That's precisely the kind of coarseness that suits you, Laurie. Thank you very much. So, do you plan to stay here a while longer? Yeah. Still got a lot to teach the kiddies. Really are good kids, you know. Plus, lots of understanding angels over here. Nothing like mine. True, true. If my world's angels were put with these ones, I would feel sorry for these. Oh, oh. is that right? <laughs> well, I'd better be going back there. I see. Hey, is everybody okay? Yes, outrageously so. Including the one who hates your guts. Ah, that's good. That's good. Tell them I've got a good beating for them when I come back. Understood. Well, I'll see you soon. Good work. Ah, yes. Your friend is coming up from behind. Hey, were your eyes just really creepy a second ago? Uh, no. Miss Greif, sh 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 shoot, did she see? So here you are, Laurie. I was looking. Eh? I need you to help with some work. Uh, <laughs> got it. She didn't overhear. So that's how you are, hmm? Hmm? Damn it. Damn it! I'll never let him get away with this. Scarves. He still remembers that. Oh, so that's why he wears scarves. I think he's wearing two of them. I never noticed that, really. So, what do you want? It, uh, yes. A letter arrived, Mr. Mivelis. Letter? From who? There's no sender. Hand it over. Does Mr. Ivelis have a friend who sends letters? Hey, Mal, why do you look so fidgety? I see. That wretch. Hmm. I don't know who it is, but... Well, whatever. Eh? Hey, I'll be heading out for a while. Eh, where now? Not back there again, I hope. No, no, but... I've got to answer back to what's been done to me. It's revenge. <laughs> this is getting interesting. <laughs> Never learns, huh? Scarves. So I take it they're foreshadowing a possible sequel, most likely after Mogako Castle Gaiden or something. That was delicious. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, Macarana. Yes, you're such a good cook, Raspel. It was very tasty. Right? I'd all like the bug jam Rawberry makes. So mean. Bugsies are friends. You turn your friends to jam? Actually, it did happen in one bad ending. Now, you two. Good girls should be in bed by this time. Yay! I'm good, so I gotta sleep. If Macarana's a good girl, I must be a god girl. 
I'm sharing a bed with Macarana. Eh? Sharing a bed? Because it's just Big Sis and Rawberry here, so there's only two beds. Uh. Plus, isn't it a strict sleepover rule that you gotta sleep in bed together? Uh, is it really? Yes. The laws of Moe have dictated this. Uh, well, if you say so. Hey, Rawberry, don't tease Macarana, alright? <laughs> good night, big sis. Good night. Right, good night. Now then. There's something which I'm keeping secret. The secret I've said to no one. Not even my sister. That is... My sister Rawberry often eats bugs and the like, yes? To be honest, I like to eat bugs too. But you see, there's something else. Yes. Something I like much, much more. Uh, Rawberry, what are you? Macarana, you look tasty. Eh? Tasty. Huh? Tasty, tasty. Can I take lick? Too lewd for me. <laughs> no, Rawberry, we're not, um... Ah, but I have to. At least have a nibble. Eh? Huh. Knew it. Macarona's tasty. Macarona? Uh oh. Nibble too much. Big sis, it's bad. I nibbled Macarona too much. Eh? Big sis, that... Don't look. Oh, oh my. Rawberry? I'm sorry, I just... Are you okay? S sorry. But it's your fault, you know. Good girl should be in bed by now. Remind me never to sleep over at your house. How long has it been? When exactly is now? What's happening to the world? I can't know. Here in darkness, deep under the earth, I can't know anything. I see nothing. I hear nothing. My arms and legs accomplish nothing. I can't do anything. Why do I think this happened to me? Because you sealed me here. In this cold darkness. So long ago. You sealed me here. Hoping to put an end to everything. But that was a serious mistake. I hear a voice. Now, let me have my revenge. Everything you've created. Every little thing. I will destroy. It won't be long. Hey, Netio. How long will this life go on? How long will this pain go on? 
How long will this world go on? She's always so positive. I can't do that. I can't be happy. I just wanted it to end. This life. This pain. This world. Everything. 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 Because. Because he. Doesn't love me. But her. Just who is that person? They suddenly start appearing before me. What are they? They appear even in dreams. Always just staring at me in silence. Your eyes, dark as night, draw me in. No visible bottom. Just through watching, makes me fear. Hey, you. She must be worried for me. Stupid, awful, dreadful me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fooling her. I'm truly the worst. It hurts. It's painful. It's sorrowful. Hate. Love. I want to forget. Ah. Uh, I'm so sorry. This is all I can do now. There's no going back this late. Betray her. Betray the world, too. I'm a traitor. If she knew the real me, would she be sad? I'm sure she would. All she has is me. I'm so cruel. So very... cruel. If I were strong like you, if I could be positive like you, if I could always remember the light, perhaps this wouldn't have happened. Has the world changed now? Has he looked at me? Has my pain gone away? Ah, I'm sure. None of that has come to pass. There's no way to change my cursed existence. But I've done what I could, you see, though there was no avail. So I chose this path. I'm sorry. I can't be strong like you. I'm sorry. Goodbye.
Once upon a time, there was a certain world. It had two. Look, nobody cares about that. That was ages and ages ago. Yes, no one should care about such things. Hey, wait. I said who cares? Yes, this. There was a certain chocolate cake. Or rather, there was until yesterday. So why is it gone now? Hey, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> Sorry about that. It just looks so tasty. I... So, so, so it was you, Etio. <laughs> Sorry. You're awful. And I was so looking forward to it. I mean, I really wanted that cake. How dare you. Look, I said I'm sorry. I'll never forgive this. Never. You're even cute when you're angry, Kukal. Eh? Uh, uh... Uh... Don't dodge a subject, dummy! Not my intention. It's how I really feel. Like you don't have a motive, which was my chocolate cake. Oh, so you know, huh? Well, aren't you active? You're dummy, Etty. Moron. Perv. Hentai. Forget you forever. Huh? Hey, what? Kukalb. And the fake oil gave it to me. No, wait. She made it for me. You big dummy. Forget you. I'm running from home. Uh. And by running from home, I'm gonna walk down all these stairs once again. You know, Kukalb's outfit looks really comfy. Stupid Eddie. In fact, everyone looks much more comfier in this version of the world. Hmm. If it ain't the devil. What? Forget it. Oh? I see. Say, you see the head angel? I don't care. I'm running away from home now. Okay? Uh. Ah, sister. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Just tending to the flowers, as usual. I, I see. Oh, uh, uh. Uh, right. Uh, Alayla was looking for you. Oh? All right. Sister? Did something happen? I, I'm running away from home. Well? You can't stop me. Because I look too cute doing it. Look at how many buttons I have. <laughs> Where should I go? Ah, Yosefire and the rest of them would be in the village now. I I can't let them see me looking so pitiful. Hmm. I'll just go wherever. Well, 
Did I seriously make her that mad? Hmm. I know. If I give her a kiss, Kukap's foul mood should clear up real quick. Mm-hmm. My pretty Kukap. Guess I'll go. Despite how fitting both of their personalities still are, it still sounds weird for someone to say my pretty Kukab, although he is kind of pretty now that I think about it. Ah, man, that cake was good. Time to work it off by walking down all these stairs. Now, where could Kukab be at? Oh, yo, God. Yo. What's up? Uh, oh, uh, you do something to the devil? She was ballin'. They all think I did something lewd. Oh, won't us. Hey. Uh, have you seen Kukalb? Did you do something to my sister? I'm asking you what you did. That, uh, cake you made. I ate it. I made that for my sister, and not for you. You should know. Sorry. Who apologize? What? Right now. Hey, but... Quickly. Uh, yes, Emma. Can I teleport? Oh well, we'll just walk. Man, where could Kukab have gone into? <laughs> I know everything there is to know about Kukab. She must have gone to the village, which she didn't. I haven't been this way much. Hm, stupid Eddie. It's not like I like him or anything. I'm kind of dumb, huh? Where does this lead again? Am I gonna get lost? Better than going back there. You know, that's kind of weird. You were looking for the head angel, and all you had to do was just step out the door. Hmm. Hey, jeez, head angel. Was wondering where you were. Need you something? You. What'd you do with my crossbow? Oh, I let it out. You what? Yosef Fire was talking about wanting to try it out. Hey, you can't just give other people's stuff away. Given where it was left, and how it was collecting dust, I figured it was of no use. Nah, -uh. I just put it there, because I had no chance to use it. Then perhaps you should have put it in your room. Say what? Diallo invited me to an apple pie feast. Oh, God. Oh, having a lover's quarrel? Keep it reasonable, okay? Ain't that what you two are always doing? Did you apologize to my sister? 
O. Go apologize now. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Where is this again? My tummy's rumbling. Oh, cakey. My demon lord can't possibly be this cute. Gosh. I've had enough of this gloomy forest. For now, I'll just keep going this way. Er, uh, where was this? I'm hungry. <laughs> Kukalb. Phew. Was looking for you. E Etio? Man, oh man. Finally. We out here, huh? What are you here for? Stupid Eddie. Kukal. Sorry, it's all my fault. I really didn't think you'd be that upset by it. Sorry. N not like... Eh? It's not like I like you or anything. A and what is this? Coming out here just for me? Doesn't it just seem stupid? Uh, enough. What's going on here? <laughs> you really are cute. Uh huh? Well, anyway, it's dark here. Let's get back. Phew. The view here is the best. Kukal? You can eat all my sweets from now on. I don't want them. But I ate your cake. I... I don't care about that anymore. But... Besides, I'm usually the one who gets sweets given to her in the first place. Huh? Probably because you look cuter with a few extra pounds. Huh? No, 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 it's nothing. Squeeze. D don't help me out of the blue, dummy. Hey, come on. It's not the end of the world. Yet. Dummy. Perfect. Hentai. Molester. Doo-doo head. What? That's awful harsh. It's just a hug. <sighs> Wish it could always be like this. Hey, Kukal. I like you. Kukal, do you like me? Hmm, Kukal? I... like... Watch where you're putting those, idiot! Ow, 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 ow.
Right. Here's your crossbow. I requested it back. Hmm? Hey, what are you trying to pull? It's broken. I'm told that it was dropped off a cliff. You gotta be kidding me! So that's truly it for the Grey Garden. There was some things in there that were kind of mysterious, like who the letter is from that uh, Iblis got, and some of the dialogue that Kukalb has in those little flashback things. I suspect the first one, I know the first little mysterious flashback is when he was sealed, and the second one is obviously after he was sealed. And he also mentions meeting a couple of people, and one he had never met before. Well, I speculate that that's God, like not uh, Etio God, but I think it's just a God, but not the God per se. I imagine there's like a God for every one of these dim uh, dimensions, along with the respective devil. But I think there is a overall Godhead that they are all um, descendants from, essentially. That's why uh, uh, Kukalp would be a sibling to uh, Wodas despite one being an angel and one being a devil. It's just kind of a go throwback to how Lucifer obviously was a devil, I mean an angel at one time. So they're all descended from the god, I think, and that's who he's referring to in the one second flashback, where he says, uh, he mentioned that he specifically uses he um, in that case, and I don't think he's referring to Etio. I think he's referring to that god and feeling God's grace per se. As far as with Iblis, I think the person he received the letter from might have been Satanic. I think that's how you pronounce his name or something like that. I don't know if he's actually part of the Grey Garden universe or if he's just another cameo character that Mogiko drew. But I think that's him, and I think he's the one that Kukal has to go and visit afterwards at some devil meeting. And I think that's what the letter Iblis got was. It was essentially, I invite you to this meeting of devils, this dinner or whatever, this party. And he's probably thinking like, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna spill Kukalb's uh, wine or something and it's gonna make him very awkward. <laughs> I think it's actually that simple. I think that's what it is. I don't think it's something truly menacing. Because in the Mokikos little comics, Satanic, uh, he doesn't like Iblis at all. And I think he's actually the one who sent Lucifer, I mean Lucifer, whatever, to uh, beat the shit out of him. But he's still theoretically a devil lord, so I think you have to invite him as a courtesy. Nibelus would also have interest in going because he would want to beat up whoever the ever devils behind his overall loss. Not just Kukal, the people behind the scenes. Now, uh, next thing is about who the characters were in their past lives. Um, I know I say it was Sherbert, Yosef Flame, uh, I'll, I'll just list them here and I'll show the pictures of them from Ogakoda's drawings and some of the flashbacks. But it basically gives you a general idea of what they looked like before, and some of them were, you know, different genders too. But I speculate that the tree you see with the sword in it, since it looks like the Angel of Swords, that that tree is actually where Yosef Flame and Sherbert uh, probably fought to the death. And that sword specifically, I think, is a uh, Sherbert sword. So it's kind of like a little poetic thing that they meet at the start of the game at that tree. And I could explain why uh, Froze likes to come by and stare at it. It's just like a spiritual uh, connection or memory that she has that she uh, can't really 
pin down in her mind. But essentially, I think everyone had looked really edgier and kind of angrier back then. And uh, I think they slaughtered each other at one point. Then Kukab was sealed. And then he came out again. And I think the first time he didn't destroy everything, I think he lost. Or he destroyed everything and the world was created. And then the second time around, I think he, uh... I don't think he destroyed everything right away, despite claiming he was gonna do that. I think based off the second flashback we see, he might have hang, hung around for a while and actually got along with Etio, but then eventually his uh, memories of how angry he was, I think, kind of came back. And that little flashback was before he uh, snapped again. And I think he actually destroyed the world that time. And that was the one that actually led to the current events. That was the thing that led them to making up and everything and uh, deciding this was stupid. Let's, let's live together peacefully. Anyway, well, that's about all I can say. So, thank you all for watching me play The Grey Garden. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.